and welcome to another show of Total Technique TV. My name is Kevin Rockwell, and you're probably wondering, what's he doing sitting in the old fold-up uh, chair? Well, these are an amazing invention. Slip them in the bag, throw them on your shoulder, and what would soccer parents and coaches do without these wonderful things to go and watch all the great soccer action every weekend? And it is coming up on the prime soccer viewing season with uh, summer tournaments, fall league season, etc. But first, I think we're all going to be sitting in something a little bit much more luxurious this month as we watch all the incredible World Cup action unfold from South Africa. But first, on today's show, Peter Hayden joins me to talk about what we're going to discuss in this show. Thanks, Kevin. Today we're going to discuss ball machines in soccer. How can they help us refine our first touch technique which allows us to play the game? especially if we haven't got parents who have time to play with us or siblings in the backyard of the local parks. But before we get to that, we're going to go to the latest soccer update. Thanks, Peter. Well, it's been a, certainly a very exciting and interesting first week of the World Cup games in South Africa. We kicked off a week ago with South Africa pulling out a tie in the opening game and all the wonderful stuff in the opening ceremonies. Uh, we've had some terrific performances. Germany looks very strong so far. Argentina started out a little bit flat in their first game and looked a little ordinary, but then yesterday they turned it on all cylinders. Big win, 4-1, to one, with Iguain getting the hat trick. Messi, to me, is the player of the tournament so far. Not necessarily scoring goals, but he's just been a powerhouse making great uh, playmaking uh, for the Argentinians. Uh, some disappointments uh, so far. Well, France looking very flat and ordinary in their first game, pulling out a draw. Spain losing to uh, the Swiss. Big disappointment there. It'll be interesting to see if the Spanish side can pull out uh, the guns and, and start scoring some goals. Uh, and so it would be interesting to see if there's any under dark horse uh, teams that, that start to emerge out of this first round. But so far it's been very good soccer, and uh, we're looking forward to some more great action. Now let's head back with Coach Peter to learn more about using ball machines in soccer. So, ball machines in soccer, why do we need them? Well, just think about when you get out on the field and you're working with all the kids and you've got one player throwing the ball to somebody else and all of a sudden he gets tired, he doesn't want to know, and how can the other player actually refine his skills when he's not getting the service? Here we have the Pro Trainer Soccer Ball Serving Machine. It's completely portable, battery operated. It will go where you go. The great thing about ball machines and any serving machines is the accuracy of the service. Like I was saying before, the repetition that we get from the machines is also very important as well. This machine will not get tired. I'm sure that your kids will get tired. We're trying to refine everybody's technique. Technique is the cornerstone of soccer. We need to get the technique into the muscle memory of the kids so that they can actually replicate it during the game under pressure. That's a really important thing. This one's very specific as well, and it's got a lot of variable uh, aspects to it. It has variable speeds, so we can send a ball from five-yard rolling ball to a 35-yard cross. It's got a time delay on it, so we can work on a five-second delay when we want to do quick short work or a longer delay if we're working on finishing from crosses. We can do a ground rolling ball. In the cradle here with the wheels, we can adjust the cradle, so we're going to get an air ball, just maybe a little um, an air ball for kids to uh, control the chest or the thigh, or we can get a driven ball, which is that cross or that corner, that set piece, set play that we were talking about where we need to score from. Very, very important here, it packs up nice and, and small, it'll fit in, the, tr in the, uh, uh, the trunk of most cars. And again, if you haven't got a parent or sibling who has time to play with you at the local park or in the backyard, you can still work on your own. And I know that um, it, that's sometimes a big issue, who am I going to get to play with to help me? So, this machine can train for individuals, small groups and up to team training. And it doesn't matter whether you're 8 or 80 years old, you're going to get a benefit and a lot of fun out of using this machine. All right, so now we're just going to demonstrate some of the different types of ways you can train using the, uh, the Pro Trainer, all the different surfaces. So I'm going to get it started. Peter will take it away from there. So today we're going to concentrate on ground balls and using the inside and the outside of our foot. First one, open body position, control before you make your pass. Remember, ankle lock down, toe up. You can use one where it's going to come across your body. Again, we're looking to be light on our feet, 
take the ball across our body before we make our pass. Next one we'd be looking at was outside of the foot. As the ball comes in, we're going to take the ball with the outside of our foot, make sure we turn the toe and the knee in to sweep the ball away for the pass. Another thing we might want to do is we're going to take the ball inside and then outside, again, which is a nice move. It's going to beat an opponent. But all of the time being light in our feet and watching for the ball as it's coming down the ramp. Last demonstration. So now let's show a moderate air ball. We're going to use the inside of the foot and we're going to use the thigh, two very important controlling surfaces in soccer. First one, nice soft touch, light on our toes, taking all the energy out of the ball as we bring the ball back down to allow us to make the pass. Again, we can use the laces. Nice soft touch to drop the ball exactly where you want it. Also, the thigh is very important in soccer as a controlling surface too. We can drop it to ourselves here, or it may be that we want to show a shooting part where we need to shift it from one side to the other, which I'll demonstrate right now. So we're going to go from left to right. In fact, I'm going to do that one again, just to make sure it's nice and tidy. So again, we're going to shift it from left to right to finish with. Left to right. Just think how good your plays will become with hundreds of thousands of repetitions from the Pro Trainer Ball Machine. So the focus of today's show was ball machines in soccer. What are the benefits? Well, the huge benefits of the Pro Trainer is it's totally portable, battery operated, it goes where you go. Lots and lots of repetition. Think how good your soccer players will become with thousands and thousands of touches of the ball. The machine will not get tired. I'm certain you'll get tired before the machine gets tired. Every sort of delivery that you can, you'll get in the game, from small ground balls to crosses to set plays, even your goalkeepers can work with, uh, with the machine. OK, we're all about refining technical skills, the cornerstone of soccer. And again, from one to team training, this machine can do it all. Well, just a quick reminder too, Peter, who can benefit from getting this amount of repetitions? Well, Kevin, whether you're 8 or you're 80, you're going to benefit from the service of the machine and you're going to have a lot of fun in the process. All right, thank you very much, Peter, and thank you for joining us today on Total Technique TV. We hope you've enjoyed this look at using a ball machine in soccer for training essential skills. We want to encourage you, be sure and comment in the box down below. Give us your thoughts and your feedback. And we also make a drawing out of every show and give away a free soccer ball. So get your entry in, your comment, and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next Total Technique TV.